Hi everybody, how are you? I wanted to give you some more information about our Southwest case study. And I know we had some video for you already. I wanted to give you some more information after discussing it at lecture yesterday. I got some new insights into what I want to give you more information about. So the first thing I want to talk about is that with Southwest hedging, I know in class we talked a lot about currency hedging and, and foreign currency. That's what the lesson was about. But the idea here that we're, I'm now talking about jet fuel and, and jet fuel hedging. So just wanted to explain to you the connection between foreign currency and, and jet fuel. And the idea is that it's the idea that if we're using FX forwards or we're using derivatives. And when you use a derivative, it doesn't matter what the underlying asset is. It's the same thing. So if jet fuel pr price is going to go up, it's the same thing as the euro price is going to go up. So I'm just trying to, you know, the connection is because mathematically and financial theory, there's no difference. But the book and what we're working with is foreign currency, right? But the accounting lesson that we're learning is about hedging. So the hedging lesson still applies here with Southwest, but we're using jet fuel instead of currency. So I wanted to just explain that to you. And, and go through that with you in detail.